Hey everyone, so today we have here, this is the Dell Alienware R3. Uh, it's a big boy. Um, it's a 17 inch screen, so it's a 17 R3. Um, it does have an i7, it's pretty nice. Um, it's only in here for, there is a problem with the audio jack. Um, you can't really see it or anything, you can't really see it even by, by the eye here. But it's a little bit loose, it does work sometimes, but it's just a little bit loose. And it just kind of really annoys our client. So. Um, fortunately for this one, it's actually just a replacement piece. We don't have to replace the board. It's a whole sideboard connection. Um, it looks like, actually I have it right here. This look just like this. So that's a good thing that it's replaceable. It's hopefully it's nothing too difficult to do. I do believe I did this a while ago, this same laptop. I think I did the DC jack on it. So that was the one where you had to remove the board to get to the DC jack because they covered it underneath it. I'm going to see if this is the same case how you have to undo the board just to get to the separate board let's go see so let's go check it out let's open it and let's see what's going on so let's just remove the bottom of this mm. okay so we remove that um there's a lot of different things here so what we want to do next is to remove these little pieces. Let's get this out of the way. Looks like there's two hard drives, huh? So he has a, a little M.2 here. And a mechanical over here. It says push here. It says push. It actually physically says push. But let's not worry about that now. Let's get these cables. So we're definitely aiming for over here because there is the jack. But let's see. Okay, just take that out. Let's put that to the side. Let me make this really difficult. Oh, yeah, release it first. There we go. There's lots of other cords here. I do know there's two more screws up here. I forgot. So I think this should be laying it loose now. So once we get all the connections up, I don't believe we need to do uh, the DC jack one. I'm going to leave that one down. I don't think we need to do it. I think this is loose enough. There we go. There we go. So we're going to leave the DC jack one down. And I think we can just open it from the top. So let's just do that. Okay. Be careful of all the connections in the back. Uh, make sure they're not hooked or anything. I think it should be fine. Okay, there we go. Alright, so the keyboard's going to come up then. Shouldn't be any other connections. So, oh, there is one. Alright, so we can just leave it up. Uh, be careful of the main... This is motherboard power. Be careful of this connection here. You can just leave it up. It should be totally fine. Plus, it's better to cover the screen anyway. And we're actually in a ton of luck here because if you could see, this jack is, this is it. So this is exactly what I wanted. And this is what I got. So I'm really happy <laughs> that uh, they didn't make extra work. Cause sometimes you have to remove the whole board or something like that. It's not like this was super easy anyway, but definitely want to make sure you um, uncuff this and I should be able to pull this one down. It's a little bit sticky. There we go. Okay. So we can leave this in. I believe I just need the one side of it. So I should take out both because we have a brand new cable. Maybe the cable is damaged too, you know? Who knows? Be another problem. So just take it both out. It's kind of like an LCD cable. There we go. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. There we go. So um, once you do that, then you, we do have over here, let's take out the speaker. So the speaker cable is connected to that. So here we go. And let's just take this up and that should be it. I hope. Okay, there's the board of it. And we're just gonna be sl slapping a new one in there. So this flips on this side, there's only one way it goes. 
Okay, let's just screw it in to secure it. Plug in the speaker. When you do put this back, just be careful and you want to make sure that these cables go underneath on the bottom here. So they need to slide through. That's the biggest thing you need to do um, with this because it doesn't look like it's going to naturally go. So you have to kind of do it as you fold it down. You can just, just fold the cables in. To get that, just make sure this clips down just a little bit there. There we go. All right, now we can fold this over again, and we just replug these in, and that really should be it. There's not much to it. It's just uh, just always be careful of these connections because they're not a fun time. Alright guys, so that's how you replace the audio jack on the Alienware R3. It's a really nice laptop. Uh, we did the work on it before. We tried doing, I think, a motherboard repair on it. I'm not sure actually if we did upload the Alienware video that we did this one, but we did a very similar one that was with a DC jack and you actually had to remove the board. It was a little bit easier to get the back off, but this one though you just have to be careful for when you take up um, all those connections that are on the keyboard and the trackpad all that is together it's on the palm rest because the palm rest lifts up and after that then you can just unscrew it and then you can just have this piece right here so that's all it is really to it um, nothing too too drastic just be really careful of course of those connections and especially with the battery um, you always want to be careful when you do remove those type of things so anyways guys thanks a lot for watching really hope you enjoy this video found this video very informative if you can, just please leave a like down below. It really does help us a lot. And um, subscribe for more content like this. We try to do more repairs and motherboard repairs. And also, if we can show you some data recoveries as well, we'd like to do that as well. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.